yes, uh, even though I don't really consider myself a theorist by any means, because I don't go out of my way to come up with these Zelda theories all the time, I have had some more interest in coming up with theories for Breath of the Wild. There were some things I thought of, like, ever since it was announced, because it seems to be pretty interesting how they're building upon how this is 100 years after some sort of previous adventure where Link apparently saved Hyrule before, but he doesn't remember much about it. How about that? Looks like he can climb the scaffolding. That was easy. But... Basically, it seems like... Um... Breath of the Wild is definitely making a point to have importance on Link's backstory for once. That's what makes it interesting for me. Because Link's always been kind of a blank slate. We don't ever know too much about his life before the adventure starts. This is the first time where it really seems like he's already had some kind of adventure that you're going to find out what happened. I mean, technically, the Majora's Mask counts as a scenario where this Link already has an established history and backstory, but that game, of course, happened after Ocarina of Time, so we got to play the original story before the sequel came out. Alright, where is that stupid thing that I'm looking for? I thought there was more bugs here. Oh well. I guess I can get out of here. Let's get a move on. But I remember thinking uh, early on in the Breath of the Wild uh, news that Link would be a Gerudo because of his wrist cuffs, which seem to be similar to Ganondorf's. But I know that that's a kind of common line of thought. And one thing that people have obviously talked a lot about is where the game will fall into the timeline exactly. Because it seems pretty likely to be either after Wind Waker or somewhere in the downfall timeline. Oh boy, it's a bug. We have to light this on fire. This seems like a good idea. Lighting people's furnaces on fire while no one is home. Seems like a broken furnace anyway. Don't they say that playing with fire is dangerous? I'm just gonna ignore these guys. They're not worth my time. There's no reason to kill all the enemies. They're pretty much ignoring me. I mean, they try to attack me, but they're not dangerous. They're about as dangerous as... I don't know, some sort of minuscule thing. It's like a paper cut. Unless you really fuck up, paper cut's not gonna do much to you. Alright. Let's find some way to get out of here. 
think I do have to kill these guys. There we go. They're all dead. But that didn't create an exit. So I'm going to have to find another way out of here. <sighs> I don't remember how to get out of here. Maybe I do this. Let's try to get some rupees. That was not helpful at all. I didn't do anything either. Oh. It was really as simple as this. I'm dumb. Finally got out of there. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with that, but I guess I just forgot what to do. <sighs> it wasn't even super long ago that I played through this game 100%. Alright, let's break into this roof. Alright, let's push this box. Not climb it, push it. Context sensitive actions sometimes can be a pain. Well, that was easy. If you're done with your errand, then let's go. Well, oh, I am done with my errand. Don't have to be impatient. Looks like I can climb up here. Let's try that again. I don't know why that didn't work. I dashed. There we go. Second try is the charm. Come here, buggy. And I've killed all but one of the bugs. Wow, I'm bad at climbing things, apparently. So I guess Breath of the Wild is going to be a hard game for me. Alright, now, my best course of action is to climb all the way up so we can get that last bug. Ah, come on! I don't know why I keep messing up on really easy things. I don't mean to do that. I meant to dash. Jeez. I'm an utter failure at playing video games. Oh, come on! Seriously! Jesus Christ! I'm not bad at games. I'm just impatient. It's the worst combination when playing this game. Come think of it, how am I gonna get the other side? Oh, I'm stupid. I'll go right back inside here.
All right, we're back up here. Let's go find this bug. It dug inside this house. We're gonna be playing with fire again, it seems. Oh no. Huh? What did you do? Sorry, but as romantic as this is, I'm not going to stay here with you. I'm getting out. Help. How, how do I get out? How do I get out? It's totally not through the way I came. Look how nice Link is. He blew up someone's house just to get rid of these bugs. I mean, he totally intentionally did that, right? Huh, I don't suppose there's any nicer way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you had to sacrifice someone's house to find Tears of Light. That's how the cookie crumbles, right? There's more like a bomb storage shed anyways, it's not like anyone actually lived there. And at least no one was inside of there while that happened. So, yeah. That went well, actually. If you think about it, it could have been so much worse. Didn't I collect all of this? Where are the other ones? I guess we'll be finding them next time on Dragon Ball Z. Alright, here we are on Death Mountain. I found out this is where the rest of the bugs were. Looks like the path's impassable. But I can get you up it if you want to go. Why would I not? I have to. I have no way to progress the game if I don't get these stupid bugs. Yay! Found a heart that I don't need. I can just ignore most of these enemies. All I care about is bugs. If you're not a bug, I'm not killing you. There you go, I killed the bug. Alright, what's the deal with this thing? That seems familiar. It's Hyrule Castle. It's also the Hero Shade. I think this is a song of healing. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find them. <laughs> to 
bet I'm not a human right now, so I can't go find you. That stupid geyser. Ow. Geysers are giving me problems. It looks like we finally made it to the Goron area of Death Mountain. Mm -hmm. Also looks like we have quite a lot of these annoying things. I'm gonna kill this guy first because that's the one that's separated from the rest. If I don't kill him first, he's gonna be a problem. Alright, all of them are dead. That wasn't too hard. And we've opened up a new portal. Meaning we can go to Death Mountain at any time. Alright, there should be a bug down here. Yes. I've killed the stupid bug. Not to wait until the geyser stops. There we go. Oh, come on! I didn't even mean to fall down. Fuck you. I have to wait for the geyser to stop. Because waiting is the best game mechanic. Ow! Fucking rock came out of nowhere. What the fuck is going on? Goddamn bird. I am not going to die. Stupid things like these. Everything will die. I am angry. And that's all the fucking tears of light. We can be a human again.